答えは常に塔の上にある間に合う間に合ったらアリーナに売店ぐらいあるよなアフタースクールはい、みなさん、こんにちは。今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、今日は、What they did in Teen Titans, right? When, when Trigon first showed up and like they lost, and it's just like, oh yeah, we'll just wait, but the world's like gone to shit kind of thing. Yeah. I do appreciate it though because it gives us some breathing room. I remember we asked that question, like, uh, That's where、true. can we, where, where can it go? Like, from fuck, from, uh, remember this was about high school? These guys had high school and all that, and now one's a god, or、oh, all three of them are basically gods now. I like how he's like, Oh, this is still got a high school, right? Like, let's have a drone flying around with a bunch of screens <laughs> to show the highlight reels from like 17 years ago. Like, you guys remember this? <laughs> yeah, def- definitely a-, a, lot- a lot of things have changed. Characters have come and gone, sadly. Memories have faded. The baby doesn't matter. This is just Kingdom Hearts, dude. Oh, you know, I was thinking about that baby, Oscar. If it somehow survives. I'm willing to bet we're going to see that kid from P and Mubong enter、mm-hmm. into the, the next God of High School tournament in the last chapter of the series. And he's going to be rocking that necklace. What's to say that this isn't, that's not going to be the end, dude? Well, I mean, it's the, my, my, my thing is just where do you go from here? It's still, exactly, it's still updating. Wait, so let me understand you. To this day, we I still ask that question. Like, where, where do we go from here? So basically, the baby is Goku Jr. Yes. Stop it. And then he would probably fight Mori Jen's kid if he has a kid. I don't think he'll have a kid. It'll probably be that way. And、uh, what's her、oh, face's kid? Mira's kid. Yeah. That's true. Or maybe all three of them will be there. And then the, they're the next trio. Well, you know what? It'll probably be Dean and his little weird ass family if he makes one. Generator Rex or a generation, I should say. Max、Sorry. Steel. <laughs> Probably my favorite parts for this, these, these chapters here leading up into the, the final, final fight had to be、uh, the exploration of more lore in the world, right? Go, where Mori has to go, talking to the dragons, understanding their backstory and all that.、Um, and the weirdness that we get, like with、uh, Mubong trying to control Tagatha, and then he ends up talking to Gaia. And all that stuff. That, that's pretty cool. I'm glad we're getting that now because we wouldn't have gotten that if this was still going on with the final fight, you know? So he's just really trying to get all the last bits he wants of the world building before we can get into the final pieces of this arc. It's the final pieces of the world building before he starts world building. You know, you know what's interesting about this?、Uh, all the, the lead up to, to the final fight is. Mubong, even though he is going the wrong direction from what he set out, it's still kind of happening, anyways. You know, his, his whole ideals up until he became the supreme being was oh, I want humanity to fight using humanity's strength. And then when Mori comes back with, with Sujin and he sees like everyone's training with Ray Kwai,、uh, Taekwondo and they want to fight back. The supreme beings and take over their home. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is what Mubong wants. He just kept fucking up. Cause I kept saying, like, it still doesn't make sense. Like, he's relying on borrowed powers from gods when he should be focusing more on this kind of stuff. And then now we're seeing the rebellion as everyone's learning martial arts. No, I get it. He's the means, he's the means to his own end. And they're just pulling a watchman on you and said, instead of a nuclear bomb like in the movie or an alien like in the book, it's Mubong becoming god. He's creating the, you know, the, the need to, to put all the bullshit aside and to just like be the better version of humanity, you know? This author does a really great job of making sure you don't care about Mubong at all. Because、sure. as soon as he became the supreme being, what's the first thing he does? Sorry, P, I'm leaving you. Yeah. <laughs> You're not coming back. 
Like, holy pee, shit. Don't matter. He's like, P, you never mattered. You're blue. I don't even like blue. It's not even he, my he's favorite like, color. He became not only an asshole, but fucking ruthless because of this. I knew that the horns on his head that his hair somehow created was a real fucking thing. This kid's just a fucking devil. And I love the fact that he just, him and the fight between him and Satan, like, was just showing what what really he's capable of and how badly Satan, like, wanted this rematch. Wanted to run that, that salty run back against Mori. And then he sees Mubong, he's like, well, you do, I guess. Oh, yeah, well, he's he's like, oh, I found you, you know, Stone Monkey, because he doesn't, he doesn't recognize phases, he recognizes power levels. Basically the auras, yeah. Yeah. And that also shows that Mori still has more to go before he could, like, he's not strong enough to fight. So he has to keep training. And that's what the rest of the chapters are. It's, it's a mix. It is a mix, yeah. Yeah. And I, I do have to say that I think this was the best time to catch up because his training's basically over now. And he's ready to go in for this final fight. Yeah, he's got like, what, 16 you What's it? Yo. Yoe juice, Yoe juice, the power poles, basically. Yeah, yeah, power pole. He's got he's got nineteen power poles. Yes, each one with a each one with a different personality too. They all have the souls of the old dragon lords inside, mm-hmm. or it's, it's basically their bones, I guess. Yeah, it's their bones. It's the actual bones, but now their spirits are inside of them, living weapons. So he can make that power pole extend. Yeah, that's the first thing I thought with when a, his original one turned red, and I was like, "Oh, is it that's supposed crazy. to be red?" Because like, Goku's is red, and you know, Goku's <laughs> based off of the same thing Mori Jin is based off of. There's a there's a character in a the AFK arena I was talking to you about, Danny. It's it's uh, literally the the monkey god, and his staff is also red. Oh, so okay. I, I think I think it must be like a, I don't know, that it, it must be a thing. Yeah, because I didn't think about it it being, you know, like stone gray in the beginning. Because I was like, oh, I mean, it's th- this guy's doing his own thing with all these characters anyways. So I was like, okay. Um, like, I mean, it, it still looked similar to what Sung Wukong looks like with like the dragon armor and all that. But clearly all that stuff's not involved with the original story. So I, I figured it was its own thing. But yeah, it was cool to see it red. And I'm like, oh, okay, now shit's starting to get ready. Yeah, speaking of the dragon armor, that shit's gone. That was, uh... Fuck, yeah. Yeah, I think that's just to show, like, oh, we're on a different level, which I thought that, and like, yeah, we already know this is a different level, but yeah, just to have that pop up. And, like, okay, let's get rid of his armor. And I think it also shows, like, the stakes are the highest for Mori ever, especially at the end here, when the the ancient dragon told him it's, like, you're not going to be able to handle this. And he's like, I have to. This is the only way that I could fight Mubong. And then he's like, oh, I can't do it in my Sun Wukong form. I have to do it in my human form. And it's like, it's kind of hinting that like Mori might not even make it by the end of this. I think uh, it's going to be one of those things where, yeah, he does sacrifice himself. Like he doesn't make it at the end. Everyone else does. But because but... Gaia chose him, he's going to come back uh, in the last chapter in his own way. Yeah, there's only been two uh, Monkey Kings. There's the original one, and then there's Mori Jin. Those are the only two. Mm-hmm. Technically, it's the same person, but I mean, like, it's just like you're living different lives. Mori Dan is just like a disguise, more or less. And he just, like, rolled with it because now Mori Dan has, like, an established family and, like, you know, like all these responsibilities and, and people know him. Like, it's like changing your phone number. You're just going to dedicate yourself to using that phone number and people will get to know you more, you know? I think the possibility of what you brought up earlier, um, Mujin's kid, like, being in, like, a, the Nakagata High School, like, whatever, the uh, actual thought process and mindset of having, like, a Goku Jr. situation really lives up to that because you can imagine basically what you're saying, that you can have, like, him fighting, like a like, an alternate version of Mori, like a reincarnation. Or maybe just like a descendant, like if he, if and if, like he ever does end up having a kid with somebody, like if he can't have kids. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I can imagine, like if we're just pulling off like super far left uh, field ships, he might even get at it with uh, Sujin. Yeah, and they'll make like the ultimate Taekwondo or whatever the fuck, you know. Yeah, I was seeing that in the comments, uh, mainly because like Dawei keeps getting all these waifus on him. 
you know, when he lost his memory <laughs> and the, the Amazonian chick was like, yeah, well, you're my husband now. And he's like, huh? And they're just like, uh, yeah, Maury needs to get a girl or it's just going to be all about Daiwi's harem. And it's like, oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I did see people mention like, yeah, probably going to be with Suji if I had to pick one. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, I know they yeah. teased, um, I, I don't even remember her name from, uh, from Daiwei's, uh, group that was, uh, supervising, uh, Maury. Oh, uh, Peach. 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 Yeah. But like, and like that, and that never went anywhere. And we haven't even seen her since the, the last time we saw her, which was at the, uh, the party at Maury's place. I was hoping for something from her. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was surprised that we didn't see a lot of characters uh, in these chapters, but I think it makes sense since uh, this wasn't the final fight. Um, but the fact that with Ahan, we only have like that one uh, panel with her uh, oh, as yeah. she walks into the distance, and it's like, yeah, I guess she'll be back later. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to see more of her because uh, it seems like since since she's you know there, it seems like he's got uh, more in store for her. Yeah, because I, I, I was thinking about it, like, I know we're, like, on a bigger scale, like, they really show that off when all of these, um, basically the white Evas at the end of Evangelion show up. Oh, my God. Turning everybody into dust, and it's like, okay, here's the bar now, and a lot of characters are probably not going to pass that bar when they're going to be fighting these people. Like, the Japanese guy using the Orochi borrowed power, like, he's not going to make the cut. Sadly, I, I keep forgetting his name, but the descendant of Hercules, like I'm, like he was getting his ass whooped. I was thinking, like, okay, I think Ahan is probably gonna pass that threshold, right? Because her bar power is all three brothers uh, from the uh, I forget which realm that they reside in. Like, I guess just the heavenly realm, right? With her having all three powers, like she should be able to to keep up with everybody else at the end. But when you think about it, though, like borrowed power users like regardless of who they have they're just like ants compared to like what we have to deal with now at this point like the only people who like even stand a chance are like people who like made direct contact and were like older than 30 i can imagine iplo i can imagine bake I can imagine bong, bong chim the 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 guy from the homeless association one of the one of the six from the past that's still alive the homeless dude? He's still alive? I thought he died. Yeah, wasn't that a flashback? I know I know the panel you're talking about. I thought that was just a flashback. That was a flashback? Oh, my bad. Yeah. All right. I don't know, because it, it kind of doesn't look like it. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what? But so I think just alive, the, the way the wording was, I think it was. Okay. Because he was talking to Mira in, in that panel, and I think and that's just her so- trying to remember stuff. Yeah, I think you're right because like a little bit. I think a, la- a little bit after that, she was talking to the old master of the wolf wall gang. Yeah, like her uncle or something. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there are definitely like, like I, I had definitely she did make the cut for the because of the. I don't know if it's because it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, it, it was probably because of the bard power. Was it even hers though? The the three brothers. Yeah. That, yeah. That that's her bard power. Yeah, I'm, okay. So I'm thinking of Mori Dan when he used uh he used it. Yeah, he, he yeah, the the fake version. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think they just went with that because like oh, his sister uses the other brothers and nobody knows that she has all three so they could kind of get away with that during that tournament. Damn, he really killed off like most of the people then in the tournament. Yeah, that's um I think I've I mentioned it before of how it was cool to see new characters be introduced, the next generation, but they're just not important in the story. <laughs> like, almost from the jump. There goes those... Fi- so they were fillers. Basically filler, yeah. Like, I felt like that whole uh, tournament, the 17th God of High School tournament, was filler because as soon as, you know, shit hit the fan, it's just like, okay, all these kids, get out of here. We have to go deal with the adults. And then <laughs> the only one that really stuck around was Ahan. And even then, we didn't really see her go toe-to-toe with anybody that Mori and everybody else was fighting with. Uh, we finally get, you know, the moment where Dawei and Mira finally meet each other again when she regains her memories. And 
he lost his when he lost his memories the first thing i thought i'm like oh we're about to do all this all over That's again what, me too man i'm almost not ready for that <laughs> I was not ready mm. just to just fucking them walk by each other. Like when when they well when Mira showed up like next to him that panel and then she walked away, I'm like, No, you do not and then she comes back, I'm like, Okay. Alright. Like they had they had me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. They they made they really made it feel like, oh yeah, she just didn't make it. Like that was her final stance right there. And then we just see her in the background and I'm like, Oh, okay, it's just a bit. Okay, cool. I'm glad she's wore that. I'm glad. You know what? I'm really glad she wore that bucket hat, though. It's crazy how like the floating monitor, um, what they would show the God of High School uh, tournament was like the thing that brought him back together. Because mm-hmm. like yeah, it like they, it was Daiwi looking up, and like just staring at it like what the fuck, and then Mira comes along. She's like, wait, I don't know. I, I expected more, more like more intensity when when they like saw each other instead of just like talking like if nothing happened. Yeah, it's it's as if these past seventeen years was just like a few months, which I guess I guess makes sense because uh, that's just the kind of character Dawei is specifically. You know, it, it fits with his character. Yeah, he's really like nonchalant about all, everything. He's more of like the go with the flow kind of person, but it's it's more like a stoicism. He's very stoic, but to the point where sometimes it's also very bad. And it's like true because he does express a lot of like anger and rage like especially when he yells a lot like in certain situations oh that and was crazy lot... when like when Shao Chen died yeah mm-hmm. yeah. yeah good example right or when he's like talking to like the the old King Crimson <laughs> and he's <laughs> like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah every time he hears his voice he's just like shut the fuck up it's like, like why are you talking to me you're yeah. dead yeah <laughs> hell yeah he's got that he's got that inner demon for sure like, Maybe that's why he's he, that's why he's such a good candidate to become the the king of all humans. He is the king of all humans, man. There's no doubt about you it. You know, that's probably that's that's probably why. Just because they're like he has <laughs> every every human is mad. All right, don't don't get it. Don't don't let it get you wrong. Every every human has that fucking rage inside of them that like it's just it's just smoldering. Yeah. So for after finally seeing them finally get together uh I, last time i i said like we probably could have gotten that sooner um and yeah i think that would have fit before everything started really hitting the fan like with their plan to go after mubong like we could have seen that before that i think it wouldn't have changed too much but cool we finally got it you know now like mori just has to really just start everything for them to get back into the fray uh which will be interesting since you know uh you know, my theory was that, like, oh, Mori's going to wear the robe, the sage robe, which might happen now since he doesn't have the dragon armor, but Dawei doesn't have it. It's the, who has it? The deer guy has it, right? Yeah. That guy's an asshole. What is it, the Mandela? No, the, the, oh, Ali. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was the Mandela, right? The little kunai Yeah, thing? the knife that just shoots through anything. Yeah, Pierce. Yeah, he has that too, yeah. I can pierce this guy. These weapons are crazy, man. Like, like Budo was an asshole. I'm gonna say it again. That whole lore that we explored, like during that last arc, was so great, dude. Like, I just fucking love the holy place was India the whole time. I like, like when India comes out, it's like all these fucking castles and like castles and like all these floating dog. Gave me the best Final Fantasy vibe vibes. I was like, <laughs> mm-hmm. dude, yeah. I was yeah. like, dude, man, so good. Then they had to go and fuck it up. So now the real question is who we're going to be seeing with these matchups for these uh, mid bosses before, you know, Mori goes and fights Mubong again. Um, of course, we're seeing our boy bake with the waifu here with King Uma <sighs> now that she's back, which was great to see. I I really I kind of wanted uh, a little bit of story behind that. I'm probably gonna get it, um, maybe later on because it, they he has a horn on and he's fucking uh he's leading the army. Yeah, he's got his power back. Like Oscar mentioned, I wonder if his bat is gonna be the staff that that he took because he should still have it uh, unless he unless he left it there on the moon when it blew up. I guess. Is okay. So real quick, is 
Uma's not the bat anymore, right? She she's a part of him now, right? Uma came back. Yeah, yeah she's back with her physical body. <laughs> and he and he still has the horn, dude. Oh, dude, it's over. Yeah, because they're because they made a direct contract, so uh, her power goes into him as well. But she has her physical body still. Yeah, like that's the reason he has the same scar on his cheek was because he was using her power. I just noticed the fact that like he had the horn um, in this panel that came up. And yeah, I, I yeah, thought I thought I thought that was because like she was like she was kind of with him, but not she really. She was the stand. Then, yeah, yeah, she was the stand. But if she has a physical body, then fuck, dude, hell yeah. Let's yeah, go. I'm pretty sure because the rest of her army's there too. Yeah. But I thought they just followed whatever the fuck she might be like. She, like they feel her with him or something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bacon Uma are gonna fight somebody. I'm pretty sure Ilpio's gonna fight somebody. Oh, dude, I'm waiting for Ilpio. Uh, I would guess Sujin and maybe Dean would team up since Dean was also using the Taekwondo stuff. Oh, and I guess yeah, he's he's also the other new generation that stuck around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the uh, there's that. Uh, there's I forgot what 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 their name was, but the one with the staff with the twins. Oh Sam, yeah, yeah. The generation of the X generation. What uh, what uh, Sayo. Are Sayo? I forgot what what they were doing. That's right. She's still there too. Yeah. Yeah. She's the one that was. She's the one that has the baby. She took the baby. She took the fucking baby. That's right. Dude, what the fuck is that? Did happen, you see dude? the baby? No. <laughs> no Look, like I, I will admit, yeah, I think you said it last time, Oscar, that they did uh, take the baby out of P, and I'm like, but there's, I, I still think now, like, what can you possibly do? It's only six weeks old, right? Like even uh, Mubong mentioned it. It's like there's not even any facial features to understand what's going on here. So I'm just gonna leave you here because you're not important right now. So I, I wonder what they what they did with it. Um, they haven't mentioned it, so I wonder if they're saving that for like the final fight when like Mubong's like full god mode, and it's like, oh, but look, mm-hmm. your kid's still alive. You know, like here's your here's the last piece of your humanity left or something. But yeah, it's gonna be wild if that kid survived. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I think this this final fight is definitely gonna last a long time, uh, since. Since like we're gonna yeah we're after the fight four it's it's four right uh four underlings that he has the the rabbit the deer the the, the dragon and then uh the there was one more I think the uh, the monkey yeah and the monkey that's right and so I'm pretty sure those those fights are gonna be lengthy there's there is still some stuff to cover before with other characters before we we can't go back anymore. You know, like in a video game where it's just like, make sure you do everything before we go to the the final <laughs> chapter. Did you collect everything before the next chapter? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I would, if I had to guess, probably another, maybe another hundred chapters. Which sounds crazy, but I think if it's paced right, I think we'll we'll get through that much. Um, I hope it doesn't take that long. There might be some things happening along the way some you know loopholes that haven't been exactly closed yet mostly just like I said I think it's just like before like even if he's like getting all the little itty bitty pieces left it's like the only thing that I can imagine them doing now is like making some Gundam shit happening where like they have like like little itty bitty floating pieces of land in space while he like literally recreates an earth you know, because, like, who survives that? He was talking about how he was going to, like, have people survive. You know, maybe he'll get, like, an arc or some bullshit. Like, like the Gray Man, however you want to think about it. I just... Yeah, because like, there, there was all those floating uh, pieces of Earth while uh, he was talking to Gaia. So that, that probably does have something to do with it. Maybe they'll, like, combine and form, like, into one continent. Or they'll probably those things themselves will probably just be the arcs, and whoever's already on them is like gonna survive when he like nukes the fucking planet underneath him. 
yeah, like I'm sure all that will converge to the holy place, if anything. So cool stuff, man. I think the the, the fights with Mori, you know, for his training with the dragons was good stuff. Pretty shonen with what he was doing. Uh, where he's just like, okay, I'm just going to stick my staff in here and just pull it and then use the inertia to... That was so fucking... He just flick, flicks it. Yeah. It reminds me of like something like Goku and Luffy would do, you know? <laughs> just something out of left field that's that's wacky that it's like, you shouldn't use that in a fight. He's like, nah, I'm going to though. Also, man, like his like when he goes and fights Mubong, it's going to be crazy with all the, those floating staffs. Yo, that's, I'm hoping it looks like what well, I think it's gonna look. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't put down an anime reference because I, I don't, I don't really know. Um, uh, there, I'm okay. I'm thinking of Dead Fantasy. Remember that shit? Yes, yes. Oh, uh, but it, it's a, fu- it's a Final Fantasy character. I think it was Kyrie, and then she just had all the fucking keyblades as like a fucking uh, like yeah. wings, yeah, 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 but yeah, also yeah. blades. If it's gonna be like that, dude. Oh yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see Satan in the final fight too. He's going to fight one of those guys. I think one thing that will probably happen is Mori will get all of his power back from the Holy Grail. Uh, Iplio was saying it's a long shot, but I'm pro- it'll probably happen. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it said it was used. Does that mean like it's it's pretty, it's Dunzo? Like Dunzo Dunzo? Or can you like reverse it somehow? That's what I'm waiting for. I'm well, yeah, that's that. that's what they're thinking. If yeah. if it has enough power left to return Mori's original power and to seal Mubong's power, but they don't know because I think it only had it had three uses. Three uses used it three times. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, the the keys because they have you know they would have to revisit that point. Think about it like this: if um, Bake's wife, you know, the king of Ox, the, the Ox King was there, right? And then that means the physical body of the, the fox still has to be around too, because he never finished collecting all the souls. Yeah, he's in the in the divine realm. He he supposedly he has a direct contact with it too because he just absorbed the remaining parts of his soul. But I mean he still has to find the rest of his soul. Yeah, I wonder how that's gonna come into play right now. I bet he forgot. It's just like a one piece thing. He just forgot. I don't even think it's gonna matter. Yeah, no, because I mean we've been we've been seeing Iplo using the nine tail form for a while now. Uh, I will say I wasn't expecting uh, in the latest chapter to see the fight still going on with Joker and uh, McDonald. I wasn't expecting that. I'm like, oh, I thought we assumed what was gonna happen, and I guess that's I guess that is just him coming in to tie up loose ends. I don't know, with, with 500 chapters in and we're almost there to the end, I don't think we have to go through every loose end. You know, like, you could just bring them all back in the epilogue and then you could just kind of just give enough information to fill in the gap in between, well, what happened? Where have they been this whole time? Still, you gotta admit, though, that, that whole that whole scene was pretty good. Where he's just trying to rev- uh, remind T about of his family and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that stuff was good. That stuff was good because it's like I liked T when he was first around. Yeah, he was he was also the one who also one of the people who was in uh in Mira's kind of like a anime soul stand moment. Yes, so she, he was the first to put him put her on the path to progression to becoming the best swordsman. She can just summon swords in her hands, dog, and she got Lubu. Yeah, she she yeah, dude, she's gonna be that that fucking dead fantasy character, Kyrie fucking. She's bullshit. fucking Noctis, dude. Yeah, I wonder how her and Daiwei are gonna fight now that she no longer has uh the Tam arm. You know, she just has a normal body with just a bits and pieces of Tam in there to just give her an extra boost. But it's probably just gonna be mainly uh Daiwei fighting. It's going to be interesting because, you know, she still has control of the sword. And, you know, we know Daiwei can't use a sword. So I wonder how that's going to play out. Um, I was kind of hoping to see Mori pick a, a, a sword so that way she could pass it to him. Because remember, he's like, I'll have to go get a different weapon. And I was thinking like, oh, yeah, when we had the flashback of when he went to the vault, there was all sorts of weapons. So he could pick something else besides a staff. But all the background stuff, like we said with the staffs, was good. So 
uh, I'm fine with him not picking something different. We're just speculating too. I mean, uh, we don't even know if he's going to like use them all. <laughs> yeah, if I had to guess, I, I would say most of them would just be there to uh, deal with the the ads that show up while he's focusing on Mubong. And then he's just going to use the red one that's the ancient dragon. Yeah, this is going to be a Muso for sure. I don't know, man. I think he's going to use all of them at the same time. It's going to be fucking wicked. That'd be pretty cool. It's going to be like a... Because think about it. Remember, he, he adopted the whole like rail gun thing where he like kicks them. So I'm just imagining these, this nigga can make them all float around him. And he's just like just knocking them back left and right with his feet. Mm-hmm. No fucking Yo, hey, oh my god. Sick dude. Yo, that'd be legit. Fuck yeah. The author was smart, man. He put it in there. Just saying. Yeah, I think the choreography is gonna be good. Uh it's it hasn't dropped in quality since, so I think we'll be alright in that field. So yeah, now we are caught up with God of High School. Uh, can't wait to see the climb coming back. Hopefully we're going to see the characters we want to see. And with that, man, let's go ahead and swing on over to Lookism. We're ending one night two, and then we're starting the new arc just called The Club. Uh, and I'm guessing it's just going to be a series of short arcs at this point until we get to the big piece of the story. Because it's looking like right now it's all set up, but it's going to be different elements of what's going on with Club VV, the hotel, you know, them being the third affiliate and all of that stuff. And plus with, with the the whole thing with J. Kim and Sinu, you know, it makes sense to just break them down into these smaller arcs. Well, I, you, you of all people know that I've had my fair share about, you know, the arcs and the story and, you know, like the character development that each of them had and like they all like transition with one another. But I knew that after a while, it was always just going to kind of circle back into, like, these random instances that lead into other arcs. You know, like, just, you know, having the little, like, kinship between um, Johan and 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 uh, Jake, you know, whether they're, like, both going to be bouncers there at the same time. You know, like, that's, like, okay, like, you're just, like, showing, you know, like, little, it'd be comic relief and stuff like it's that. It's great. <laughs> You know, like, we also have, like, the scene where they're, like, scrubbing the bath, uh, like, the the hotel room and stuff like that. You know, we're, we're basically being, like, told, like, what's happening right now. You know, like, you know, what they're cleaning up or, you know, if everything, anything was left behind, basically. It's, like, very serious. And it's just, like, following up with, like, Dooley and stuff like that. I'm, like, this is all just so random. Like, you're just putting these people back together because it's just like, oh, yeah, I forgot that he fucked off because, you know, Daniel ditched him there after he got his ass knocked out from talking shit. He really I'm did, like, though. It's not that I wasn't glad to see Dooley, but I'm just like, you, like, you, <laughs> you, you, like, you tie this shit together in the most randomest of ways, man. Like, It's mainly just the formula he's been using this whole time. It's just the in-between stuff before the next big moment. Like, this is the the chapters of levity before we get really serious into whatever the hotel and the club are doing. And then the fact that, you know, they're they're butting heads with uh, with t- Tom Lee's group, right? Because he's like, oh, we, we shouldn't hire these guys because, you know, they're just here to spy on us and all that. Like, they want to do their own thing. Because, um, like, the last, the last in-between short arc like it was just everybody having fun and it, it was just all mainly for comedy so i think it's, it's safe to say like the same thing's happening here um which yeah, i mean I, I mean you guys heard me when i was reading it earlier i was just like oh shit like why is do back you know <laughs> dude anything involving little daniel is gonna be like the comic relief of things like i don't think that he's gonna get into the club and we're gonna get anything serious I think that, you know, he's going to meet Vivi. He was going to be like, oh, the boy's so cute, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to make him like my little my little butt buddy. And then it's just going to be more comic relief, you know, until he gets kicked out of the club for being a minor. Uh, or, you know, they take the badge from him, which I don't even know how he kept the badge in the first place. I thought he lost it. Because who, who, who whooped him? It was, it was Goo. It was Goo, right? Yeah, like I don't think Goo took it. Well, we didn't explicitly see him take it, but uh, the first, the thing I thought of was, is that badge even going to still work? Like, I guess it might be too much to say, like, oh, they're going to change. They're going to swap new badges out after what happened with one MCM. But I thought something like that was going to happen. 
do you think James even or James? Do you think Jake and Johan even like recognize the badge? Did they just fucking question it? Uh, Jake probably doesn't know. Oh, Johan might not even know either. Yeah, because they're both new. Yeah. Um. Well, actually, maybe, maybe Jake just because he knows about the affiliates longer than Johan, so he he just might remember something, or it's just gonna backfire on Daniel. And then he's going to be like, damn, now I really can't get in because they don't know what this badge is. And then Vivi could see him as like she leaves the club or is going into the club and like, oh, yeah, like you said, like, wow, look how cute, look how hot and cute this kid is. Like, let's bring him in while we while we talk about Daniel. What I've been complaining about for the past few whiles of how he's just so large and fat <laughs> and he is no longer that was crazy. Uh, I wasn't expecting it, and, but like literally, it's literally one chapter behind, like one chapter earlier, he was still a large man and now he lost 110 pounds, which I think mainly it's like the comical thing. Yeah, I was very surprised to see him slim down and, you know, not to my surprise, but he looks just like his hot body. A little younger, albeit, but yeah. Yeah, younger. For sure. Uh, which I think it's just there to have him look just a little bit different so that we, we don't get confused of what body he's in. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Less muscular too, a little, he kept the same height. Yeah, he's super thin. Like, he didn't gain any muscles during this workout and dieting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it just reminds me of uh, the little arc with Logan, right, when he lost that weight, when he got depressed. Oh, my God, yeah. No, I bet he has muscle. You just can't see the muscle yet. Yeah, like, yeah, he's, yeah, that's true. He's not like Vasco, I guess. Like, you know, like Vasco was looking pretty lean. Yeah, our fucking, our, our standard for muscular in this mono is pretty high up. I mean, yeah. I'm, I honestly do think that he is lean. I'm not saying that he's Vasco cut, but I know that he's going to be muscular. Just small. Because he is still small. I don't, like, you said that he was the same height as Daniel. I'm like, no. I mean, he's skinny like Daniel. He more or less looks like Daniel, but he's young. He looks younger than Daniel, even though they're the same age. You know, I don't, I don't know. Like that part, like it just makes like okay, like he looks cute. I'll give you that. He's a very handsome, skinny young man, but you made him look younger than he was originally, because his original like fat version of himself, even when he was drawn serious, is just like he had like that older look to him. Like this is a fat old high school kid. Now he just looks Jesus like a Christ. fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, he didn't look that old though. He didn't look that old when he went to the uh, to the beach like with he everybody. Looked, he oh man, he looked he like looked... he could go up to a into any convenience store. He can look at the red band section for the magazines, and nobody no, would judge I him. I don't think so. No, but this this version of Daniel, this version of Daniel definitely needs a handheld when he walks across the street. That's how young he looks, dude. You made me feel so bad right now, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but he did, he never looked that old, though. Um, well, at least, at least not the last time we saw him before he got large. Yeah, no, his redesign for his Twitch made him look like not really younger, but just made him look like just, you know, average. Made him a look mess. like, okay. A mess. No, let's yeah, be real. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say, yeah. Well, still like a high school mess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was funny the way just the the way Jay Kim resolved what Vas like the the problem with Vasco being there. Just paid him back. Yeah, very very Vasco esque way of doing it. That's all he wanted. Yeah, so he's <laughs> so he's probably out. He, he, I, I would say he's out of this arc. Yeah, <laughs> I hate to just I would hate. For that, like, I hate that so much because I really want to see more of him, but you're probably right. Like, he's probably yeah. just going to be guarding the stand and there's going to be a whole fucking mini mini series on the covers about him and his work on the stand. Mm-hmm. I'd then, be looking forward to that. That'd be, that'd be crazy. And then especially <laughs> especially with the introduction of Do in, in the start of this new arc for Club. Yeah, Do and Alexander. Yeah, to me that says, like, Oh, we're playing shuffle right now with the cast. <laughs> like until until the the big major arc 
involving Vivi happens, we're just going to be throwing a bunch of characters in here just for the comedic sense. And it's just somehow it's somehow going to make sense. I don't know about the I don't know about the both of you, but when I saw the girl that they introduced in this chapter and I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I was like, legit, like, I don't want Crystal to have competition. But, but damn, this, this, this is girl, it. like, this you girl. You mean Crystal and Zoe? No, fuck Zoe. I don't give a fuck about what? Zoe. Ooh. Look, what? look, look, look. No, okay, no, we're not. No, this isn't that podcast. We still got to have that episode. Who's I got no girl? grudge against her. But look, I'm going to tell you the same exact thing that I told you last time. I could give no props to her, no matter how well she came across. If she still calls him Piggy, it's not yeah. fucking cute. That shit is disrespectful. You yeah, still haven't even learned his name. I kind of wish she's, she'd end up with Logan. Because that'd be pretty cool. And then Logan just be like, what? And then he just leaves. <laughs> no, but there's somebody else too. There's there's fucking uh, J.O.'s fucking sister. And then uh, that's that, that's not Crystal. But J.O. has a sister, right? Yeah, the model, the little model girl. Yeah, so he has like a whole harem after him. I remember, remember that one, that one fucking uh, chapter where they all went. As, this girl, he went, he went as normal Daniel. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the yeah, one yeah. they 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 went on vacation. Him be they being him Zach, uh Jay, like Vasco, the people from 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 Jay High, and hmm. then uh and then you you see the wife who's too fuck fucking uh. Zoe, Crystal, Jail's, uh, fucking, um. Mira. Uh, yeah, Mira. But Mary Ma- Mira's a special case, because Mira, Mira. Oh my god, Mira and Zach. Ah! I need to reread this. But, <laughs> but yeah, like. The, and then, uh, I guess there was a small competition, friendly. I don't even know if it was a competition, but. They were all pretty much trying to get attention from, uh, Daniel. And uh, mind you, this was Daniel when he was, like, Daniel yeah. Prime. <laughs> yeah, that post Logan fight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, post Logan. Yeah. But he, he but actually if, since we're talking about this, yeah, with the new waifu coming in. Um I like Zoe too. I think she's she's a good character now. Um but when we got Crystal introduced and then the game. and then it was like, Oh, she has the same thing going on with two bodies and then there's this cross reference with Daniel likes fat crystal and crystal likes fat Daniel with that overlap there. And I'm like, since they have the same situation going on, like this is the, this is the, the the couple at the end of the series, right? Like this is, this is who Daniel's going to get with right now. That focus is probably going to shake up with this new girl coming in because of course she has to live near Daniel and has a situation very similar to Daniel's. He's going to connect to that a lot more. Yeah, because now it's about Oh my status. god, you're right! Oh my god, it took me this while to fucking realize it, dude. She's like, same background. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's okay. not about... He, he's just like looking into the fold even deeper now, as if the box wasn't already, like, <laughs> you know, deep enough. You know what Pretty I mean? Pretty much. I'm like, new waifu, oh, fuck it like yeah new, new i mean interest. it was pretty shoujo the way she got introduced by bumping into him running in her school uniform or whatever yeah. she was wearing and past him but he's just like oh it smells like soap like, what the and then mm-hmm. the, you know that's gonna play the heavy significance because she's poor as fuck man that really but somehow is so she's got fuck. she's got good soap you know oh but you know did you notice when he was uh, when the guy that that she works for, he was touching her hair and he's he was touching it and he made a comment. It was more like a negative comment. He's just like, "Geez, like, oh, yeah. what do you put you soap do in your hair? hair?" He's like, "What do you do? Oh, with your yeah. hair? Do you put?" He's like, "Do you put soap in your hair?" Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's why I, I didn't see it as a good one, but I was just thinking like, "Oh, maybe it's like crummy soap or like liquid detergent or some shit." You know? Yeah, like like Daniel may think Crystal. Is a, is a decent person and can relate to her at some points. But the fact that this new girl is the same situation as Daniel has been for a long time in his life, you know, and especially now that Daniel really appreciates that stuff more that what his mom has been doing, that's going to be a, a big factor 
you know, the question after that is how important is she to the plot of the world that is Lookism now with, with all the affiliates that Daniel has to go through, you know, cause one way or another, he's probably going to team up with Crystal to help take down these people. And then, you know, just where do you go from there? I think the bickering with, Johan and Jake in the future is going to be cool. Um, I'm curious to see where Vivi's bodyguard's going downstairs. Uh, if I had to guess, that's probably where Sinu and these other fighters are at, to some capacity. Yeah, for sure. I mean that that that's that's still an open, that's still not a closed case. That's the whole reason why Jake Kim took that job. So it's like, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to get their. Um, get their wish or get what they wanted by the end of this mm-hmm. some way or another it's, it's all going to converge into like a single point where it's going to be like all right we need to go to this guy and then each of their wishes is going to be like going to have to do with him or them yeah and i just can i just say though that like johan's first response to to new to new daniel was to fucking beat the fuck out of him and jay kim was like wait johan hold on yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, we don't do that here. He's like, come on, let me in. My hip's acting up. He's like, wait, Johan, hold on. He's already getting yeah, ready. Yeah, that, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah, the, oh, the, the humor was nice in these yeah. chapters. Hell yeah. I'm making a prediction that uh, Vivi's bodyguard is also one of those numbers. Mm. But he just has more more freedom than Sinu does. Sinu is just held captive, but he's a dog. I'm thinking that either the second or first affiliate is the affiliation that does like the underground fighting that it's going to be its own arc like i guarantee it i have a feeling that he's definitely going to get some clues in this arc but that he's going to like you know have to like go into the second or first affiliate and then by that time samuel is going to like bring that shit full circle because he's i don't know what he's going to do with the fourth affiliate who did he join voices with um, I don't remember. I rem- I don't remember the name of the old dog god group. It was uh, K Town. Is K Town? That, that much I remember. Oh, it was K Town. Yeah, that one with that one dude with the piercings. Yeah, yeah, they took over God Dog's position. Uh, yeah, um, that makes sense. I think. Yeah, it's probably makes sense for the bodyguard to be, um, one of the numbers top like, let's say like for I sure. guess top three. Yeah, that's what I that's what I'm thinking. Just because like 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 Oscar said, he has all the he has a the he like has the loyalty, and he also but like he also has. Not, I wouldn't say he has a freedom, you know, because it it doesn't. I don't know how these fighters look. I, I'm not judging anybody by their face anymore. Ever since fucking Samuel. Since yeah yeah, <laughs> but like. I I don't know, man. I wouldn't say he has a freedom, but he at the same time he 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 uh, like yeah he might be up there in in like the maybe numbers. maybe he has if this theory is true. Maybe he has this much freedom because Vivi likes him, you know, uh, or like yeah, she was just reason. like, oh, he's cool. Let's I want him to be my bodyguard or hang out with him or something. Fuck, we're writing the story already right now. Or maybe the president <laughs> of of the club itself hi like picked him to to watch over vv yeah the is, guy is uh, he, yeah he is okay he was the guy that had the secret meeting with um yeah i'm still kind Troy. of mixed up with it with like who there's four affiliates right well there's yeah. three now there's three there's three now yeah it's because of one was taken down but what is it workers hostile and what uh it's hostile uh k-town and K-Town. then one more. It's not workers. Yeah, workers is one. Hostels is the other. God dog, which is now K Town. What was that? Wait, what did I just say? Yeah, workers. Hostel. Yeah, workers hostel and K Town. Are are you sure workers counts because it says workers three affiliates and it said workers four affiliates last time. Uh, like I think they're are, just I, the we workers. talked about this before. There are four companies. In workers, we'll there are four up. different affiliates. Each of them have their own company. The first affiliate has to be the leader of workers, or probably the guy who created workers is not even a part of workers anymore, but he just created workers, you know? 
Oh, by the way, that guy has a name. His name is James Lee. The same name as the real Daniel Parks or the fake Daniel Parks body. If that is James Lee. I think that it is. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's yeah, it's it was workers, hostel, big deal, and uh, God Dog originally. Big deal. That's what we're big, missing. Big that deal was doesn't. Oh that yeah, sucks. no, yeah, yeah. It's... But are they are they fucking uh, are they up there though? It's still. Well, that's, uh, hold on, the wiki's. I think they're still up there. I think it is actually still four. Big deal, hostel, God Dog, and workers. No, God Dog went out first. Then it was, it was big K-Town deal. Then, then it was hostel. Then it's workers. So workers is the last one. But um, uh, no, you know, the, I mean, big deal oh, yeah. is big yeah. deal is with um, is with the fourth affiliate. Samuel and and um, Jake are working together. Um, hostel is gone. Hostel for sure is gone. Uh, God dog was gone too because I don't know what they turned into. You keep telling me it's K Town. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. K Town is absorbed into the fourth affiliate. So uh, the fourth affiliate is working with Big Deal, but I don't think Big Deal and the fourth affiliate are together. I mean, that's what. When Jake got out of Juvie, that's what he was going to do. He was going to see if he can go to war with. Uh... Oh, dude, I don't even know anymore. Just, you go to war with the four affiliates to get. Right? To get a Sinu back, yeah. And that's when and that's when Samuel was like, actually, I'm working with them, but uh fuck those guys. Let's team up. <laughs> a lot of moves are getting in play right now. Yeah, still waiting for that breather for everything going on. As far as just like Daniel's taking a step back and doing a recap for himself. You know, like we I think we got a little bit of that, but I, I could use a little more, just for more clarity. Which probably won't happen until, you know, after this arc. And then, like, things start getting to bigger scales. And then it's going to go, okay, so what's next? What do we do? I'm teaming up with this old guy now. Like, what? We have to retell the situation going on and, and all that. I will say this, though, Jerry. Uh, since we both, since we want Vasco to come back, right? I was thinking he's probably going to fight Vivi's bodyguard. Because of what he said uh, in the last chapters we talked about, right, of how, like, oh, I don't want to fight Johan or, or Jake because they're good guys. But you, you know, you're not a good guy. You're a bad guy. So I think with I think when he sees, like, things starting to go crazy at the club, if he's still working at the stand. And then I think he's going to jump in and then, you know, he's going to fight that guy for sure. Mm-hmm. And then definitely he's going to surprise Jake because Jake still doesn't really know. Vasco's new power set. I just wish that they would have. All right, like super sidetrack really quick. I just really wish that when they're referencing how Johan learned Taekwondo, that they made Ah, it a little bit more clear as to what was going on. Because in the other series, which like we're not talking about that other series, but in the other series, they don't really reference lookism any more than lookism references the other series viral hit like it's just like you're you're just really trying to get like the 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 idea of like how coherent they are with another like where they stand or what they are to each other like but anyway aside from that it's just like it's great that he learned it i just really wish that they're going to talk more about it and i hope that they do it's it's gonna be really cool to see Vasco like like go back into the club when he finds a reason to do so, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on that. Like, I, I kind of wish this 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 tie-in isn't a one sh- only a one-time thing. Like, his, basically, it basically his own plug and his own manhwa from a different manhwa. One of the things that you guys also didn't didn't see, right? Because I don't well, I don't know if you guys haven't seen it, but if you guys have read it is the very last thing that he does to Vasco to get him to leave is, like, basically what uh, the guy with the jacket does in Viral Hit. Like, he'll go up to somebody and he'll be like, um, I need, like, 500, 500 won or Juan or whatever the currency is. He's like, I need 500 because it's, like, 45 cents. And he would, like, hmm. go. he would go to the arcade and he would play Tekken. Like, that's basically what he did. 
So every time that he like wants to humiliate you or beat the shit out of you, like he's going to ask you for that much first. Like he just ended up doing that to him to get him to leave the whole little, I I thought that was really smart though. He's like, Oh, I'm going to get him to leave 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Watch this. Bam. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Yeah. I think, uh, I haven't touched the viral hit yet, but, um, I will soon. Uh, and if I had, I guess, if we were going to get a crossover, it won't be for a while until I'm going to guess viral hit gets more build up coming in because it's still under 30 chapters right now as of this recording. So I think until they build up to that and there's room for a, a jump for the character, like the characters have to show up in the series if it's even going to matter. Right, like if it's just a one-time reference, like that's cool too. Uh, but if we're gonna get into a bigger deal, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while for that to come in. Moving forward with the episode, since we're caught up to God of High School now, we're gonna go and yeah, just take a, a, a look at viral hits. So we're gonna be going through the the chapters that are out next episode, and then uh, we'll probably just keep it on the slate and talk about that alongside with Lookism and God of High School, and whenever Tower comes back. Uh, throw that back into uh but yeah man other than that that's all i really had to say for lookism just looking forward to the setup uh if i had a guess we're probably gonna get a lot more comedy coming in i'm always here for that yeah um yeah the the surprising duo of of do and um what's his name alex right yeah yeah that, that was a that was a, a surprisingly fun uh team kind of like with logan and um What's his name? Hmm. Goo? Not Goo. Um, the, the judo guy. Oh, fucking I keep Vin? forgetting his name. Vin, Vin, Vin. No, Vin and Logan. Like when they were buddy-buddy. Oh, my God. Like the, yeah. the, those, part, those parts were great. And great. it's like the same kind of vibes here. It's yeah. Little team-ups that they do. Right. You're going to be my follower? No, fuck you. You're going to be my follower. <laughs> Can I be your follower? And you know, it makes <laughs> sense, too, because I would say... Alexander and and do have kind of like the same personality, right? Oh, definitely. And I think with that, it's safe to say we can go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. And like I said, we'll be going through some viral hit. Uh, and that series updates twice a week, which I think is pretty crazy. And I guess it's easier since you know he's uh, the lookism author is writing it only. And then he has another guy drawing it. So maybe that gives them more time to just push through. Or maybe this is something they've been working on for a while and they just have a surplus amount of chapters to. Yeah. So should be probably hitting. I don't even know how many chapters it is right now, but probably the 30s by the time we get to the next episode. And while we wait for those episodes, you could send us an email on gmail.com. Let us know your comments. What are you guys thinking right now? current god of high school lookism arcs would love to hear the thoughts and then you can follow us on social media at unverse podcast and we'll let you know when those latest episodes drop so thanks guys and we will catch you on the next one